Oh, Passover begins on Friday, a celebration of spring and rebirth. Millions of families across the world are preparing for the Jewish festival. This morning, we've got some Passover treats you can make right at home. In Lishnak, uh, Lishnik, sorry, yes. Lishnik, sorry. <laughs> and pastry chef at Bread's Bakery is here with these delicious samples. Everything looks so good. Oh, thank you so mm -hmm. much. And it's yes. great to be here. Yes, welcome um, back. What, what are some of the big things that people, what are the most popular things that people eat for Passover? So mostly flourless products and unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. um, right. And flourless means that the opportunities and creations that we can come up with are immense. <laughs> So we have our flourless brownie cake, for example, oh. or coconut, which is a flourless base. Um, we have our matzo brai over there. Those are savory with sun chokes, These guys uh, right mushrooms. Here. Yeah. Um, we have mm. some flourless fruit tarts, some flourless mousse cakes, cheesecakes, chocolate tort, whatever you your heart it. desires. So I've actually never made anything that was flourless. What do you do instead of? So to, to substitute the flourless right. part, we usually use um, either almond flour, tapioca flour, stuff mm. like that, that basically adds also the, the flavor and not just the, the power of it to combine everything mm -hmm. together. Exactly. All right, let's make some macaroons. Yeah, let's make some macaroons. <laughs> so I have some egg whites and sugar that I've heated over a bain-marie um, earlier, and I'm going to add the apricot jam. Now, apricot jam is used to add a little bit more of, of a distinct sweetness, not mm -hmm. necessarily from sweetness of the sugar. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to mix that up all together. And then, this and is that's, very that's simple. That's just egg whites and sugar and apricot jam? Exactly. Oh, um, wow. And now we're going to add the shredded coconut. Mm -hmm. so you want me to do please, all of honest, it? Or? All of it. Oh. Awesome. This is a lot easier than I, I always thought this, this was complicated. <laughs> I don't know why. So we're relying on egg whites and eggs to, to hold our, our base together in this case. Mm -hmm. And then with the help of the shredded coconut, just to combine everything together. So I'm just going to fold this up, make sure everything's combined. And right then, now you're watching, but you're going to be doing the work. I know, thing. exactly. And then you're preheating. What, how, how, what, what so you have to preheat preheating an to? oven to 380 degrees. 380? Um, yeah, we're looking for a very high temperature to blast some heat onto them, mm -hmm. keep the moisture inside, and just bake the outside so that it's nice and coated. All right. right. So this is all mixed up. Now, what I'm going to need is these mini mm -hmm. cookie, cookie scoopers, and we're just going to take one just like that, kind of like rub it off of the, the bowl. Okay. And scoop it right onto the tray. Oh, okay. Here we go. And my work is done here, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun. Okay. I've never used a cookie scooper, actually. Yeah. This is just like a little ice cream scooper. And then once you have um, once you have it all on this nice tray here, how long do you uh, how long do you bake it for? So we bake them for approximately 12 to 13 minutes. Okay. Again, it's a very short bake. We're just right. trying to blast some heat right onto the crust um, mm -hmm. and keep all that moisture. And then, um, through the magic of television, this is the finished product this here. This is the finished product. I'll taste to see if they're any good. <laughs> okay, let's so see. see. <laughs> so will I. How long, head, head pastry chef, mm -hmm. how long have you been working at Bread's Bakery? Uh, it's been five years now. Five years. Yeah. And how did you get involved? How did you start start baking? Um, you know, I've, I've discovered this old bread uh, book a while back, and I got These hooked on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are. Um, I just completely got hooked on it, and that's the only thing I, I know how to do at this point. Let me ask you this. You have so many different beautiful creations of breads. What's the biggest seller? Um, I would say, well, it depends on Passover or not right, Passover. Right, right. So, so how about Passover? During Passover, Passover time? I think all of our products are pretty much evenly um, mm -hmm. uh, sell, but... Um, you know, our cookies are a big hit at this point. Um, yeah, we you do guys? all these tons of variations of <laughs> oh my gosh. cookies. You What's your these? favorite? Uh, my favorite uh, has to be the coconut macaroon. Oh, mm -hmm. classic, you know. Oh, these guys. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so simple to make at home. Uh, if you wanted to coat them with chocolate. So Another time. <laughs> the, the variables here are, mm -hmm. are completely, you know, like endless. So you can add um, chocolate chips, you can add almonds, you can coat them in actual tempered chocolate. Right. Um, really. Whatever you'd like to do is, mm -hmm. is, is okay. These are really good, and I love that they're not too sugary. Mm -hmm. you know, they're yeah. so sweet that it overwhelms you. And part of that is the apricot jam to add, mm. kind of subdue that sweetness right. um, and add a different kind of subtlety. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. I know, as always, we always appreciate when you come in. Thank you. <laughs>